Good day, learner. We are going to study the one-act play. Understanding one-act play. A play is a literary form intended to be performed on stage before an audience. The term play is also used to refer to the script itself. A person who writes a play is called a playwright. Elements in a short story are also present in a play, like the ones listed below. Theme. This tells what the play is all about. Plot. The narrative of a play, how the story develops. Characters. The actors or actresses playing specific roles in a play. Dialogue. The conversation between and among characters. A one-act play, as the name implies, is a play with only one act. It typically deals with a single situation, happens in a single setting, and involves a few characters. The Beggar and the King is an example of a one-act play. Understanding Play-Related Vocabulary To learn more about plays, familiarize yourselves with a list of play-related vocabulary that follows. Act, the major division in the action of a play. An act is a major division of a theater work, including a play, film, opera, or a musical theater, consisting of one or more scenes. The term can either refer to a conscious division played within a work by a playwright, usually itself made up of multiple scenes, or a unit of analysis for dividing a dramatic work into sequences. Actor, actress, a male or a female person who performs in a play. Locking. The movement of actors on stage. In theater, blocking is the precise staging of actors to facilitate the performance of a play, ballet, film, or opera. Character. A personality or role an actor or actress recreates. Climax. The point of greatest dramatic tension or transition in a play. Conflict. The problem faced by characters in a play. One-act play. A play about a single incident and set in a single setting or location. Plot. The arrangement of events in a play. Position. The orientation of the actor to the audience. Stage positions are used to help keep track of how performers and set pieces move during rehearsal and performance. Denouement. The final resolution of conflict. The denouement is the final outcome of the story generally occurring after the climax of the plot. Often, it's all where the secrets, if there are any, are revealed and loose ends are tied up. That is the denouement. As a writer, it's important to keep this in mind when crafting your own story. Dialogue, the direct conversation of the characters. Exposition, found at the beginning of a play and provides background information, events, and introduces the characters. Props. Items carried on stage by an actor or actress. Scene. Signals change in location or the entrance of a new character. Script. The written text of a play. Stage directions. It is an instruction written into the script of a play indicating stage actions, movements of performers, or production requirements. Theme. The central idea or meaning of a play. Volume. The degree of loudness or intensity of a voice. Activity. Name it. Name the different parts of a play using the play-related vocabulary. Number one. A chamber in the palace overlooks a courtyard. The season is midsummer. The windows of the palace are open, and from a distance there comes the sound of a man's voice crying for bread. What part of the play is this? The answer is exposition. Number two. Kikai rises and haughtily moves away. Tony continues to sit on floor in the attitude of Rodin's thinker. What part of the play is this? The answer is stage directions. The king of a great country, his servant, beggar. What part of the play is this? The answer is character. Tony, if I remember right, I was engaged to a girl named Kikai. Kikai, yes, and you're still engaged to her, Tony. 
Tony, welcome home, Kikai. How was the trip? Kikai, horrible. I couldn't wait to get back. What part of the play is this? The answer is script. Number five. Mrs. Mendoza appears in the doorway carrying a plate of sandwiches. She moves away from the doorway and Kikai appears. What part of the play is this? The answer is position. Here are some tips in reading aloud a play. First, review your part by reading your lines ahead of time. Secondly, maintain a good posture or stance when reading. This will make your reading livelier. Number three, read with a modulated voice. Number four, read your lines, dialogue clearly and loudly. Fifth, include necessary expressions in reading. Six, concentrate during reading. Be sure to read your part promptly. For you, what makes for a well-executed one-act play? That's all for today. Thank you.